Dr. John Gratton has spent the last 15 years researching this episode across Europe. He has followed the trail of evidence to Chartres in France. What he has uncovered are some of the starkest, most frightening descriptions of the impact the haze had on human health. After 18 days, there were 40 dead. One pretends that the fog that turned the sun as red as blood forecast this curse. May God preserve my parish. We're in Chartres because this is the centre of an area that was particularly badly affected by the sulphur from Lackey in 1783. We have villages at uh, Ampo, uh, Brouet and Landale, which we know from the records were particularly badly affected. The, the priests in, the, in all those parishes describe um, the, the, the presence of the sun smoke, the sulphurous fog, and how uh, the, the people of the, their parishes were being uh, literally killed. They, they were quite clearly associating the fog, the sulphurous fog, with, with the deaths. While the sun was obscured, there was a sickness which caused innumerable deaths. The cure of Ampo describes how a third of the men of his parish were swept to their tombs while the fog was here. And one can only imagine what that was like. It's a very powerful way of describing this event. A third of the men of his parish swept to their tombs. And this is a sort of common theme that runs through this region. Amongst the accounts of the death and suffering, Dr. Grattan discovered evidence of how the haze struck terror into those that saw it. Uh, for instance, in Brouet, the, the, the parish priest describes how the, the people were so afraid of the fog and the devils within it that they, they got the priest to, they dragged the priest literally from his house, made him put on his vestments, his holy orders, and perform a service of exorcism on the cloud. And, and you can only imagine how terrified people must have been at the time. You know, the, 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 the sun was, was obscured and the, there was a stench of sulphur in the air, and obviously they thought that the gates of hell have opened and the devil's walking the earth and they think the end of the world is coming. These apocalyptic scenes caused pandemonium across France and prompted numerous articles in the French newspapers. The French astronomer de Hollande obviously observed the fog and, and quite clearly he observed the panic that it was causing amongst the populace of France. And he, he went to the lengths of, of, of writing a paper about it and, and having this published, and the, the purpose of this appears to have been to calm the fears of the populace, um, because he, he writes in, in this account that he's seen many fogs like this in the records, and, and it's nothing to worry about, it's just the air leaving the ground after a damp spring. But of course, I, I don't think that the people took that at all seriously, because they could smell the sulphur and they, they knew that nothing like that had happened before. Overall, the death rate in this region of France increased by about 5%. But precise numbers for the rest of France are difficult to establish because French burial and death records have not been compiled as they have been in Britain. <laughs> 